For your love, I go fix it, man. Baby, I can. Cause this thing I feel inside. They weigh me down. Or the way I fly comes out. And no lights out. Now my face, you go look down on. But I be now, I'm not like that. Yeah, slow, slow, slow. Do me slow, my be now. Do the fast, they go. They can slow. Thank you very much, very much, University Chaplain. Good morning and welcome to the Sunyani Technical University Deba Grounds. We've gathered here for this Deba to climax the activities of the 55th anniversary celebration. Before we proceed, may I call upon the Pro Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Justice Solomon Crunchy Barama, to do us the honor of introducing the chairperson of this occasion. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. MC. Members here present, on behalf of the management of the university, we would like to welcome you to the 55th anniversary celebration of the establishment of Sunyani Technical University. And let me play to introduce to you the chairman for this morning's occasion. The man who has been chosen to be the chair of this uh, morning's program has spent over 45 years in technology, mostly in the telecommunications and ICT industry, having served roles in uh, ranging from research and development to executive management. He is presently the executive chair of the Ecoinformatics, a company he founded to focus on ICT and linkage to modern management. He also chairs the Engineering Council of Ghana, the Council of Sunyani Technical University, and Carlin Solutions Limited, a professional ICT service company. In addition to that, he serves as the board, or uh, he serves on boards of associated consultants, an infrastructure development consulting engineering company, and Backbone Connectivity Network Limited a fiberotic and broadband network company in Nigeria, where he was the funding executive officer. He has also been a leader in the industry, and we are talking about Ghana Institute of Engineering and the engineering community at large in Ghana in Africa. He has been a fellow of the Ghana Institute or Institution of Engineering since 1996, having served as the president of the association in 2016 and 2017 and continues to provide leadership in various initiatives. He was the chair of the committee that developed the Ghana Engineering Council regulation, and we are talking about legislative instrument 2410 that was done in 2020. And he is the chair of the strategic planning committee of the council and a member of the alliances and regulations committee. He has been a mentor to the Federation of African Engineering Organization, having served or received an award for Lifetime Achievement Engineering Sustainable Development, and also a fellow of the Academy for Engineering and Technology for the Developing World. The man has achieved a lot, and I need to make a summary of the whole thing. When it comes to academia, he received his BSc, MSc, and PhD degrees in engin electrical engineering from Colombian University. Currently, he provides advisory services in ICT, corporate governance, strategic planning, mergers and acquisitions, an intellectual property and enjoys mentoring. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to you. Engineering Council of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to you. Engineering Council of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, being the chair for this morning's occasion. So, chair, with all due respect, these are your members. The members, that is your chair. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pro Vice Chancellor. That is an elaborate introduction of the visionary and the indefatigable chair of the Sunyani Technical University Governing Council. Chair, may I kindly invite you to deliver your acceptance stroke welcome address to the gathering here. Thank you.
thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, when I look around and everybody is looking happy, and we shall continue the happy mode for the uh, day. And I humbly accept to chair this uh, event. Uh, the representative of uh, the President of the Republic of Ghana in the person of Honorable Michael Ochrebefi, Deputy Minister of Trade and Industries. The representative of the Minister of Education in the person of Honorable Gifty Tsum Ampofo, Deputy Minister for Education for TVET. Honorable Alfred Tsunya Yabua, Deputy Minister of Justice and Attorney General, and our own sister and mother, the Honorable Regional Minister Justina Awo Banahina, my own sister and my daughter. And any other members of government present here? Municipal and district chief executives, members of the governing council of Sunyani Technical University, the vice chancellor management and staff of STU, Sunyani Technical University, vice chancellors and officers of sister institutions, Nananum, our esteemed alumni, our young and present students, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Governing Council of Sunyani Technical University, STU, I warmly welcome you to this memorable occasion, which is the climax of activities marking the 55th anniversary of this institution. We are here to celebrate the progress and achievements of STU. It has in the last 55 years made her contribution to the progress and development of Ghana. Having journeyed through various stages of existence from Sunyani Technical Institute as, as was mentioned earlier a second cycle institution then to a tertiary institution. And even the tertiary state the problem with these things, you click the wrong thing and you are dead. <laughs> but we shall recover it. Uh, even in the tertiary stage, we had to rise from a polytechnic status to the current state where we are a technical university. And in all of this, we have been taking steps to build a platform that helps us to support, sustain, and extend our success story as we step up our efforts at raising the next generation of industry captains for regional, national, and global transformation. This is what lies at the core of the positioning of STU at the forefront of the thrust to move Ghana into the community of newly industrialized nations. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, over the past 55 uh, of years of her existence, the institution has contributed immensely 
to the socio-economic development of Ghana in diverse ways, especially in meeting the human resource needs of the country. The institution has offered opportunity to tens of thousands of young people to acquire employable skills and hands-on training in the fields of engineering, science-based disciplines, technical and vocational training, applied arts, and related disciplines. Now, STU awards its own degrees, including honorary degrees, diplomas, certificates, and other qualifications under the tutelage of the governing council. In line with the government decision to lay more emphasis on TVET, Sunyani Technical University continues to carve a niche for itself in the training of human resources, especially in the areas of engineering, technology, technical, and vocational needs of our dear country. It has over the years produced some of the best professionals who have provided and continue to provide critical services both in the public and the private sectors across the country and indeed across the whole world. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, from its humble beginnings to the present institution, it has experienced productive growth in terms of responsibility, scope of activities, and student population. At the moment, STU offers four-year Bachelor of Technology degree programs, higher national degree prog uh, programs, and other non-tertiary programs, all geared toward technical and vocational education and training. We expect to offer our students the requisite practical training that would mold them into resourceful entrepreneurs. Such education that is practical and forward-looking in approach aims to train students who can, who can create jobs rather than rely on the government for employment. I'm also happy to announce that your excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, that we, have now, we now have administrative approval to run two-year research Master of, Science, Master of Technology uh, degree in electrical and electronics engineering and civil engineering programs. Efforts are underway to obtain the requisite accreditation for the running of other postgraduate programs in the near future. I'd like to emphasize that these are being done not at the expense of our focus on training basic to middle level professional manpower. That's a critical piece of our mission. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the theme for the celebration, this celebration is STU, 55 years of progress and achievement in TVET and engineering education, mobilizing excellence for future leadership in Ghana's industrialization agenda. This is an indication that we are not merely content with our achievement of the past, but very much focused on the present and the future of leading Ghana's industrialization agenda to achieve national objectives for wealth creation, poverty reduction, competitiveness of enterprises, sustainable environmental management, industrial growth, and Ghana beyond aid. To maintain our position and attain greater heights as an institution, STU must, of course, be appropriately resourced and supported. Among others, it requires modern practical training centers and facilities in support of its mission. To that end, we need the full support of all our stakeholders, the governing council, management and staff, students and parents, alumni and friends local, regional, national, and international supporters and partners, and the private and public sectors. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in order to institutionalize 
strengthen and sustain the collaboration and support, we have instituted the STU Endowment Fund that you'll be hearing a lot about during these celebrations, which we are marshalling and crystallizing all our resources for the long-term development of the university. The STU Endowment Fund is going to be a major funding source of key infrastructure needs of the university, especially in relation to implementation of the university's 40-year uh, master plan. We really need the support of all our stakeholders to enable us to realize our targeted total of 300 million Ghana cities. And we hope that in the first year, we will be able to raise in a down payment of 50 million Ghana cities. As I conclude my welcome address, your excellencies, ministers, and deputy ministers of state, members of parliament, Nananum, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and of course, uh, the media, I would like to appeal to all of you to passionately and to generously donate to the STU Endowment Fund as your contribution toward the development of this noble institution and the industrial development of Ghana. My special appeal goes to the alumni. The image and credibility of any institution are built not only on the quality of the staff and academic facilities, but more importantly, on the quality of its products. Your success wherever you go will be our success, and your inadequacies will also reflect on us. This special bond with the institution places a special responsibility on you, the alumni, for the future of STU. I have no doubt that you will, uh, this will inspire you, this will inspire your desire to give back abundantly and ensure that STU becomes synonymous with excellence and in the forefront of helping to make Ghana, our motherland, modern, self-reliant, and competitive on the global scale. Many thanks for your attention, and may God bless us all, and may God bless our university, Sunyani Technical University, and may God bless our dear homeland, Ghana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairman of the Sunyane Technical University Governing Council, Engineer Dr. Kwame Boache Ajaman. We now proceed to call upon the Vice Chancellor of the University to deliver his address. But before he does that, shall we now take the university anthem as he prepares to deliver his address? Thank you. Shall we rise for the anthem? Sudan Technical University, Center of Thank you. 
Thank you. Kindly resume your seats. I now invite the Vice Chancellor, Engineer, Professor Kojo Adinkra Apia to deliver his address. Thank you. Thank you very much, MC. The representative of His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Kufuado, Honorable Michael Ochribasi, who is the Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry, the Chairman of Shunyane Technical University Governing Council, Engineer Dr. Kwame Ajimambuachi, the Deputy Minister for Education, Honorable Gifty Chum Ampofu, the Bono Regional Minister, Honorable Justina Owusu Banahine. We usually call her Awu Banahine because she's our mother. The Deputy Attorney General, Honorable Lawyer Tuya Yaboa, Vice Chancellors of sister universities herein present. Honorable members of parliament present. Honorable MMDCs for the various metropolitan municipal and district assemblies in the Bono, Bono East and Ahafo regions. The Sunyane Technical University continues to serve these three regions. Nananum, members of STU Governing Council, staff and faculty of Sunyane Technical University, distinguished Sunyane Technical University alumni association members, the SRC of STU, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am humbled to welcome the representative of His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nana Abdudankwa Akufuado, and all other dignitaries hearing gathered to the Sunyane Technical University campus today to witness the Grand Deba climaxing the 55th anniversary celebration of our noble institution. We successfully launched the anniversary celebration and an endowment fund for the university in April this year under the theme, STU, 55 years of progress and achievement in TVET and engineering education, mobilizing excellence for leadership in Ghana's industrialization agenda. The anniversary week, which started on Monday, 30th October, 31st October, with STU Technology Innovation Day, has successfully gone through excellence lecture series on Tuesday, community outreach on Wednesday, anniversary games on Thursday, and alumni homecoming just yesterday, that was Friday. We are here today to climax the anniversary with this grand debate. And I thank the President of the Republic for sending his rep representative to grace the occasion with his presence when an equally important assignment did not permit him to be with us here today. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to Mr. President for his love towards the Sunyane Technical University. We will equally seize the opportunity, Dr. Chairman, to humbly ask the representative of the President to cut a sword for the construction of the Ghana Gas 
Center of Excellence for Electric Vehicle and Industrial Welding Technologies at the university at this particular occasion. Dr. Chair, permit me to give a brief history of the Sunyani Technical University for everybody to appreciate how far we have come. It all started in 1967 at Sunyani Technical Institute, SUTEC, to offer opportunity for middle school leavers to undergo hands-on training in craft programs such as intermediate block laying and concreting, carpentry and joinery, electrical installation, motor vehicle mechanics, and so on and so forth. 30 years later, Dr. Chairman, in 1997, the Technical Institute was upgraded to Sunyane Polytechnic, that was S. Poly, running a wide range of tertiary, non-tertiary, and certificate programs to produce middle-level manpower graduates. Nananum, 19 years into the polytechnic education. That was in the year 2016. The polytechnic was further converted to Sunyane Technical University with a new mandate to providing higher education and awarding its own degrees, diplomas, and other certificates in engineering, science, and technology-based disciplines, TVET, as well as applied as and related disciplines as enshrined in the Technical Universities Act 2016, that is Act 922 as amended. So currently, the university runs over 24 four-year Bachelor of Technology degree programs, over 20 higher national degree, di higher national diploma programs, across all the spectrums. And then we also run short certificate programs. So we have over 100 programs that are currently being run at the university. Mr. Chairman, it is important to pay glowing tribute on this important occasion to the founding fathers of this noble institution, the chiefs, opinion leaders, and the late president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, through whose instrumentality the Sunyane Technical Institute was established. We equally recognize the leadership of the institution at various times and the contributions from staff, students, and our cherished alumni who in diverse ways have contributed to the development, existence, and sustainability of the university since its establishment. Dr. Chair, specifically we appreciate the work of the first principal of the Den Sunyane Technical Institute, the late Mr. Kuma Minta, who in 1967 laid the foundation upon which the institution has thrived till date. We equally acknowledge the five other principals of the Technical Institute on whose wings the government saw the need to upgrade the Technical Institute to a polytechnic in 1997. Dr. Chair, we cannot forget the dedicated leadership of the first rector of the Polytechnic, Professor Kwasi Nsinyajaba, who is currently at this particular event, who worked to grow the Polytechnic to a notable institution between 1997 and 2010. Dr. Chair, we equally appreciate the intense leadership of the late Professor Kwajo Thomas Janfogio, who prepared 
the Polytechnic for Conversion to Technical University in 2016 before his demise. Before I stepped in during the transition as acting rector, interim vice chancellor, and currently vice chancellor till date. Dr. Chair, we also pay glowing tribute to the various presidents of this country whose vision helped upgrade the institution from a mere technical institute to the present day university. We particularly acknowledge the great leadership of the current president of the republic, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Kufuado, for his great vision of transforming the TVET sector in the country through critical reforms and retooling of technical and vocational institutes, as well as all technical universities in the country, including the Sunyane Technical University, on a massive scale regarding the AVIC laboratory project. When you go up here, you will see the AVIC lab we are talking about. We have states-of-the-art equipment, which will help the university to begin its processing of spare parts, processing of electric vehicles, and others. So today, when we cut the sort for the center of excellence, as soon as we finish, the university is going to take up this mandate to lead Ghana through electronics and electrical engineering so that Ghana's economy will grow. Dr. Chair, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the 55th anniversary celebration is pivoted on two key principles. Firstly, to create visibility for the university as the preferred technical university in Ghana and in Africa for raising the next generation of industry captains for national, regional, and global transformation as captured in our new vision statement. And secondly, Dr. Chair, to bring together all major stakeholders of the institution vis-a-vis -vis the Alumni Association, Corporate Ghana, industry partners, friends of the university, philanthropic organizations, other development partners, the general public, and of course, government to put our hands on deck for the implementation of the five-year strategic plan of the university and also the 40-year master plan, which has become our new blueprint for development. For this reason, Dr. Chair, the governing council, management, staff, and alumni of Sunyane Technical University launched the STU Endowment Fund way back in April this year to mobilize an amount of 300 million Ghana cities. I think the council chairman has mentioned that already, with first year target of 50 million Ghana cities into the STU Endowment Fund. Our aim today, therefore, is to appeal to all stakeholders here in Gadet to help mobilize this amount. We also crave the indulgence. We crave your indulgence to join us again this evening at 7 p.m. at the Usbet International Conference Center for a fundraising dinner to contribute into the STUEF, that is Sunyane Technical University Endowment Fund. Now, special appeals. Honorable Deputy Minister, kindly permit me at this juncture to send our appeals for special assistance to Mr. President through you. Kindly carry our appeals to the President so that we will hear from him.
If we don't hear from him, it means you didn't send our appeals. And the first request is for asphaltic overlay for the four-kilometer campus roads. Dr. Chair, one major challenge of this institution is the state of our roads. We appeal to the president and his government to provide an asphaltic overlay on the four-kilometer long campus roads, including the one-kilometer Waterloo section, which is not paved at all. This will reduce the dusty and muddy conditions the students and staff suffer seasonally. Our second appeal is on the construction of a pedestrian footbridge. Dr. Chair, Honorable Minister for Trade and Industry, representing the President, I equally appeal to the office of the President to help construct a pedestrian footbridge across the Sunyane Kumasi Highway in front of the university to save our students from the frequent knockdown by motorists. Our third and last appeal, Dr. Chair, is on a special get fund allocation to complete the science park project. Dr. Chair, finally, Honorable Minister, whilst thanking the President of the Republic and his government for the support so far received through the GET Fund for the completion of the basement of the Science Park project, we would like to say that the yearly allocation for the only GET Fund project currently at the Sunyane Technical University has been woefully inadequate. Honorable Minister, the four-story GET Fund project, which started in the year 2007, 15 years down the line, has only the basement floor completed. I therefore appeal to Mr. President to use his good offices to grant a special GET Fund allocation to the Sunyane Technical University for the completion of this important project to resolve the acute staff office and classroom accommodation facing the university at the moment. We have a lot of challenges in that area. Meanwhile, that building has been designed to provide so many classrooms, so many offices for our lecturers so that they can conduct research to contribute to nation building. Dr. Chair, Nananum, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I beseech all and sundry, staff, students, our cherished alumni, our business partners, corporate organizations, philanthropists, government, and of course, the general public, to take keen interest in the development of Sunyane Technical University for the realization of its mandate of raising the next generation of entrepreneurially inclined industry captains for job creation and also wealth creation. Thank you very much, and may God bless us all. Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor. Shall we now observe the arrival of the Paramount Queen Mother of Sunyane Traditional Council and the representative of the Paramount Chief of the Traditional Council? As we observe the arrival of the custodians of the land, I call upon the military band 
to hold yourselves in readiness for patriotic songs as the regional minister prepares to deliver her speech. Now the Sunyani Traditional Council, the representative of the Omanyane and the Paramount Queen Mother of the Council and other sub-chiefs of the Traditional Council have arrived at the Deba. That is the traditional council of Sunyani the entourage. And I'm um, in their four regalia. They are the custodians of the land. And they are arriving in style. led by the Paramount Queen Mother, with Nana Bechim Hema, who is already seated. They will then proceed to their designated zone. That is the Paramount Queen Mother and the other sub chiefs of the Sunyani Traditional Council. No, no, no. You are warmly welcome. May I now call upon the military band to excite the grounds. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Before I call upon the regional minister, kindly permit me to remind the gathering here that one of the most important highlights of the 55th anniversary celebration is the endowment fund, as has already been emphasized by the council chair and the vice chancellor. And by this, kindly informing each and every one here that each and every one can contribute to support the fund via a number of ways. Prudential Bank is the official bank for the endowment fund. You walk in and you ask of STU endowment fund account and you can contribute. At the same time, you can also contribute via star 772 star 55 hash or mobile networks and as I speak the endowment revenue office is open at the central administration block receiving donations so those of you who will not be able to attend the fundraising in the evening you can make your donations we have washers and security to help you locate the revenue office and make your contribution to the endowment fund. Thank you so much. Now, it is about time to call upon the regional minister of the Bono region, Honorable Justin Awu Banahene to deliver her address. Thank you. Yes, if I had gone to the farm to do my weeding and to plant my crops as a daughter of a farmer, I would have stood in the sun and do justice to the work. And so if today too I am here to see my men and women and anum, my children and everyone gathered here, then I think of course I have to appreciate nature. And so I can withstand the test of time by standing in the sun. So, I'm grateful. The Chairman of the University Council, Rep of His Excellency, the President, Honorable Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry, and MP, New Javin South, Honorable Ochebet Fi, the President of the Bono Regional House of Chiefs, Deputy Minister of Education, Tivet, MP for Buakanov, Honorable Gifty Chum Ampof. The Vice Chancellor and Management of Sunyani Traditional Sunyani Technical University, the Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities here in present, Nana Nom. Political leaders and heads here in present, heads of educational institutions, staff of STU, religious leaders, presence of STU alumni, alumni of STU, students of STU, students from various institutions here in present, members of the press distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to add my voice to that of the Vice Chancellor to welcome you to the Sunyane, the capital of Bono. Indeed, I am honored to be part of this historic occasion, making the 55th milestone of Sunyane Technical University. I wish to convey to you the fine compliments and felicitations of the Bono Regional Coordinating Council and to wish you happy 55th anniversary celebration. Dr. Chair, according to His Excellency, former President of the Republic of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, and I quote, a good head and a good heart are always formidable combination. But when you add to that a literate tongue or a pen, then you have something very special, unquote. This great institution, Sunyane Technical University, 
formerly Sunyani Technical Institute and Sunyani Polytechnic, was established 55 years ago to provide technical education to help develop specialized needed technical skills to accelerate the socio-economic development of the then new nation, Ghana. The cardinal objective of the establishment of technical institutions in the post-independent nation, Ghana remains relevant today, considering the high rate of unemployment among the youth. Indeed, the journey of 55 years has not been easy. This institution has traveled through thick and thin to come to this far. The numerous achievements of the university, as highlighted by the council chair and the vice chancellor, will not have been possible but for the diligence, discipline, hard work, fortitude, forbearance, commitment, and foresight of the preceding and the current management in realizing the dreams of the forerunners. Your efforts have produced many graduates working across the country in various capacities and making significant contributions to the socio-economic development of Mother Ghana. Prof. Chair, on behalf of the chiefs and people of the Buno and its sister regions, namely Buno East and Ahafo, and our regional coordinating councils, and on my own behalf, I wish to congratulate the university council, management, both teaching and non-teaching staff, alumni, parents, and all other stakeholders who, in diverse ways, have contributed to the success of Sunyani Technical University. Prof. Chair, technical education is very crucial to Ghana's industrialization agenda, which seeks to stimulate and transform the structure of the economy from primary to secondary levels. In view of this, the MPP government, led by His Excellency the President of the Republic, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, is leaving no stone unturned to ensure that technical education is given the needed impetus to drive the transformation to industrialization and accelerated socio-economic development of the country. As you may be aware, the government has ruled that technical and vocational education and training program, TVET, placing premium on technical education to produce requisite middle-level skills needed for socio-economic transformation through technical and vocational training and entrepreneurship. Pursuant to this agenda, the government has currently invested huge sums of money on TVET infrastructure and training between 2017 and 2021. This is the biggest investment made in the educational sector by the government over several decades, which forms part of five years' strategic plan to transform the TVET nationwide. Equally, it may interest you to note that the government is currently undertaking two major projects to tackle the infrastructure deficit in the various Tibet institutions. These projects are the Ghana-China project on rehabilitation and upgrade of technical universities, and the upgrade and modernizing of Tibet systems in Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, Nana Nom, as we celebrate the 60th anniversary, as we celebrate the 55th anniversary of this university, it is my fervent hope that the plump and pageantry of the occasion will reminisce the achievements of the university and resonate the spirit, the cop, hard work, and dedication among university council, management, senior members of various faculties, and students' body, so as not to give no room for complacency and laxity. It is also extremely important that we use the anniversary to conduct SWOT analysis and map out comprehensive strategies that will move the university forward in the right and proper direction so that come the next milestone anniversary, posterity will give you your due for contributing to the overall development of the region and Ghana and motherland. Sunyane Technical University. Around 1994, when I had finished Form 4 and I had had admission to SUSEC, so from Barras, you walk through and walk through Sutek, through to Susek. And looking at things around, and few occasions when we had the opportunity, a sporting activity, then we joined together. Then I had gone to Techima Senior School, which is Zondi, and then here Zondi, we come together 
and looking at the men and women here than those of us who are coming from far. Sometimes people look down upon us. But today, of all these that we've gone through and all the stuff that we've talked, today it is a university. Then, thumbs out for the people of Brown and Ghana. We know that the face of Sunyan Technical University all continues to be changing and changing positively. Once more, you are all welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Regional Minister. You all agree with me that when you are having an anniversary of this nature, you need a committee to steer affairs of the activities and the events. Far back in February, the university management and the academic board constituted the 55th anniversary planning committee and the committee has spearheaded all the activities till today. The committee ain't done yet. The committee will be seeing to the fundraising event this evening, Thanksgiving service tomorrow, and of course, will deliver a report on the entire activities before the committee winds down. The chair of this committee, ladies and gentlemen, is the man we all know as a very hard working. May I call upon him a very brief remarks from the chairperson of the 55th anniversary planning committee, Professor Jones Lewis Arthur. Thank you. The Special Representative of the President, Honorable Emmanuel Oshribethi, Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry, the Deputy Minister of Education, Honorable Gifty Chum Ampofu, the Bono Region Minister, Honorable Justine Ousu Banahene, the Deputy Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Honorable Lawyer Tia Yeboa, the Chairman of the University. Governing Council, Engineer Dr. Kwame Ajman Boache, the Vice Chancellor, Engineer Professor Kwejo Edinkra Afia, the Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Solomon Justice Kwenti Berima, the Registrar, Mr. Samuel Kama Obo, the Director of Finance, Dr. Prince N.B. Menzo, teaching and non teaching staff of ST, the alumni, SRC, invited guests, ladies, and gentlemen. On behalf of the 55th Anniversary Planning Committee members, I wish to thank our God Almighty for granting us the strength, knowledge, and wisdom to lead these 55th Anniversary activities. I also wish to express my heartfelt appreciation to the University Governing Council, the Management and the Academic Board for the honor done to the Planning Committee members and to me to serve Sunyani Technical University by organizing these 55th anniversary celebration activities. Indeed, it has been an exciting experience for every member of the committee. As you may be aware, the theme for this anniversary is STU 55 years of progress and achievement in Tibet and engineering education, mobilizing excellence for leadership in Ghana's industrialization agenda. Undeniably, this theme has not only sensitized the university committee and community about the needs to put structures in place in spearheading Ghana's industrialization agenda, but has given the university an opportunity of educating the general public about areas where individuals, corporate entities, religious bodies, the alumni, and the general public can explore in achieving this extraordinary agenda of the country. As you all know, Ghana and many other developed and developing economies 
are facing serious economic crisis. An effective industrialization agenda is one of the panaceas to this global menace. Therefore, the planning committee and I want to commend the governing council and the management team for coming out with this great theme. The representative of the president, the main objective of these 55th anniversary activities is to mobilize funds into the STU endowment fund. Through this endowment fund, we hope and pray that STU can be transformed into a world-class hub of quality, competency-based TVED and engineering education and applied research. That will not only serve the Bono and their half regions, but Ghana and the rest of the world as a whole. I therefore want to plead with everyone gathered here to support and contribute to these fundraising activities massively. At this point, I would like to show my appreciation to all the 55 planning committee members, the co opted members, the STU community, the alumni, Nananum, and the general public for massively contributing to the contributing their time, energy, and competence towards this 55th anniversary celebration. At this point, I would kindly request all the planning committee members to rise and be acknowledged. I say, are you cool to all? Finally, I would like to extend my gratitude to the representative of the president and his team for acknowledging and responding possibly, positively to the invitation of the committee. From this day onwards, please note that STU is the key stakeholder of Ghana's industrialization agenda. Therefore, STU will not fail Ghana in this direction. Last but not least, I thank Nananum. I thank everyone present today for your massive participation. And I would like to encourage all and sundry to donate enormously to the STU Endowment Fund. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shall we now call on the representative of the Alumni Association of Sunyane Technical University to deliver a brief address on behalf of the Alumni Association. I now call upon the president, who is also a member of the Sunyani Technical University Governing Council to deliver that short address. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, with your kind permission, I would like to ride on existing protocol, protocols observed. Thank you. It is indeed refreshing and warm looking to interact with you all to celebrate the 55th anniversary of Sunyane Technical University. I speak on behalf of the alumni of Sunyane Technical University who have distinguished themselves over the years to make STU proud. Today marks a new beginning of another milestone of STU and the alumni fraternity in engaging each other. And I'm sincerely happy for such a refreshing comeback after 55 years of excellence. Sunyan Technical University has come of age from Sunyan Technical Institute era to the days of the Polytechnic and now Technical University. These transformational processes indeed called for strategic change in our way of doing things as an institution of excellence. The Polytechnics Act mandated the then Polytechnics to train middle-level manpower 
for the needed skills of the nation. The Technical Universities Act, however, mandates the technical universities to produce essential human resources with essential skills for industrial sustainability of the country. It is indeed a great challenge for the technical universities and in pursuing Ghana's industrialization agenda, for that matter, Sunyan Technical University needed stakeholder engagement to position itself to provide answers to many challenges of the country. STU could not have achieved what we witnessed today without collaborative support of the alumni, particularly in areas of capacity building. Mr. Chairman, the Sunya Technical Institute, which was established in 1967, with few student population produced craftsmen and women for over 30 years, and middle level manpower for 19 years of, as a polytechnic. Today, the student population has risen to almost 7,000 students. The university has been shaped by events and activities of the past years and the university is now cruising to a greater height. It is worthy of note that the recent success story could not have been chalked without pragmatic policies, plans, and outputs of graduates of this great institution. The management of the uni university keep on planning to meet future dictates and aspirations of the university. For this reason, the 2020-2025 strategic plan and the master plan was recently launched. Sadly, the first strategic plan could not experience much participation of the alumni association. The near absence of the alumni participation in the implementation of previous plans was indeed a great challenge. Cherish alumni members, I'm happy to announce that the current strategic plan and the master plan have full packages and participation of the alumni fraternity. Since strong institutions are made by vibrant alumni associations, the association donated four unit classroom block to the university last year. This block has been used to establish a basic school for the university. The school started with 42 pupils at Kretsch, Nursery, and KG levels. And we hope for the success of this initiative. Again, we have gathered here today with our support to put forward the long-awaited aspirations of the university to be a top-notch technical university recognized globally for producing professionals equipped to function as resourceful entrepreneurs. Now you want to produce graduates who can establish their own job. And that is the essence of the technical universities. And we have to embrace it together. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is remarkable to note that our contributions to the endowment fund, which has been launched by the university together with the alumni, will go a long way to provide quality to teaching, research, innovation and technology transfer, practical training for both staff and students. Over the years, the university has produced over 40,000 competent graduates who continue to shine globally. We, the alumni leadership, are committed to the strategic direction of the university. It is therefore, and it will not be out of place, if every alumni member is to contribute an amount of 500 Ghana cities or more into the endowment fund of the university to address weak financial base resulting in difficulties in attainment of efficient operations in the university and also help resolve infrastructure gaps in all the faculties and departments, making it difficult to attract prospective students into the university. Mr. Chairman, maintaining good relationships with the alumni over time is crucial to the success of higher educational institutions. 
Alumni serve many valuable roles, such as helping build and grow an institutional brand. Through word of mouth marketing, for instance, positive posts on social media can create buzz and increase admission rates. Proud alumni often serve as powerful ambassadors for their institution's brand and speak positively of their alma mater. Alumni are nostalgic and love the opportunities to return to campus. For this reason, our second homecoming, which was held yesterday to pledge the commitment of the Alumni Association to collaborate with the management of STU to, to implement the master plan of the university through periodic stakeholder encounters. We cannot succeed if you don't support the university to work to its perfection. Let us all try to contribute our quota for the smooth implementation of STU plans for a productive and sustainable outcomes. We will continue to contact the alumni secretariat on campus to make our impact felt by the university. I would like to use this opportunity to thank the management of the university, and for that matter, the governing council, for bringing the alumni back to eight feet once again. I'd like to thank all alumni members here present. And I'll urge you all to contribute your quota for the success story of the Sunyane Technical University. I also wish to thank staff, students, and all the invited guests for making time out of your busy schedules to be here today. Indeed, your participations have made this anniversary great and strong. STU at 55, I say congratulations to all of us. Long live Ghana, long live STU. May God continue to bless us all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. MC. Honorable Ochibefi, representative for the President of the Republic, Nana Arudankwe Kufuado. Our regional minister, Aoba Tampaba Nahine. Our vice chancellor, of Sunyani Technical University, Sister Vice, Chans Vice Chancellor from Sister Universities, Pro Vice Chancellors, Dr. 
doctor chair. We are at your service. Nana no my landlords. Alumni. Management and staff of Sunyani Technical University. Our students from tertiary institutions and second cycle institutions. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our noble friends from the media. All other protocols duly observed. It is gratifying to be here. And my minister, Dr. Yawa, said that she would have loved to be here. But an equally important assignment has taken him out of the jurisdiction. But then, if a fufu slips out of your fingers and it doesn't land on the ground, while it falls on your soup, whether the soup is yours or someone's soup, it has fallen into the right place. As a deputy minister in charge of TVET, it is very gratifying again to see the TVET landscape growing and becoming a competitive choice. The same way, ladies and gentlemen, the government of Nana Dudankwe Kufuado gave the Ministry of Education a mandate to have TV Transformation Agenda 2018 to 2022. I'm glad to inform you that this agenda of TV transformation has been through and through. Dr. Chair, this agenda had given us two acts. Act 1023, that is Education Regulators Act, and Act 1049, Pre-Tertiary Act. The Pre-Tertiary Act had now had all the skilled training institutions pre-tertiary under all the various ministries at 2019, there were as many as 19 all under the Ministry of Education, and we have created the Ghana TVET service, which is ensuring that teaching, learning, curricula, everything set for the development of the TVET skilled area at the pre-tertiary level, it's as expected. The same way, ladies and gentlemen, the other act is also to ensure that the CTVET had been formed. And I'm glad to inform that three agencies brought together to give us the commission for TVET. And for that reason, we're working to ensure that we re and reduce conflict among the various agencies. The same way, ladies and gentlemen, the CTVET is to ensure that we have a workable curricula we have a better collaboration and closeness of the academia to the industries. So, ProVC, I was very excited when I heard that you have a collaboration with Ghana Gas to ensure that the electronics and the electrical departments are facelift to meet the demands of our country. And thank God, we also have high deposits of lithium in any electrical vehicle, the battery had to be made from lithium. And thank God, we have high deposits of lithium. So, it does in the right direction, and we are expecting many more collaboration. Since the equipment that we have in our TIPA institution, both pre-tertiary and tertiary, are not just equipment for teaching and learning, but they are industrial equipment, which industries could leverage. So all students, the alumni, let's leverage on the equipment that we have installed in our various workshops and laboratories to make the maximum benefit of that retooling and modernization. The same way, ladies and gentlemen, our young ones, our daughters and sons have just completed the BEC and by the wisdom of the Ministry of Education, 
For the past three years, they complete their examinations before they select their schools. Nananum, especially Dabahima, we pleaded with you to speak with the parent, to spend a day or two to visit the various schools of the awards, sit down with the teachers of the awards, as well as the head teachers, go through the school selection manual and select the schools according to the interest of the child, the capabilities of the child, and also their abilities, and select the, the course of the schools also properly, so that after the school placement is released, you wouldn't have parents harassing everybody with rumors of many things I don't want to mention on this very podium. Let's have time to select the schools for awards. And as you're selecting the schools, please spend some time and visit the workshop and the laboratories of Sunyani Technical University, as well as Sunyani Methodist Technical Institute, and the latest, Don Bosco Technical Institute, and see the equipment, the heartwarming, mouth-watering equipment you have there. And with this, I'm sure, you could direct your words properly to select TVET programs. And hey, my ladies, are you there? We fed up with ladies selecting, uh, designing, uh, cosmetology, uh, hotel, and all those programs. Yes, they are good. But we expect that lady to select programs like electricals and electronics, auto mechanics, mechatronics, name them, the male-dominated areas. That is where there will be a lot of support for our ladies, and that is where we could break even. Ladies and gentlemen, you bear with me that when a lady designs anything, life will womb. Men are so mechanical. So when we get the woman in the TV landscape, trust you me, it's going to be more attractive, and everybody will join. Remember, every investment we have put in place is to have a TV landscape not only developed for Ghana, but to be globally competitive. This evening, ladies and gentlemen, my humble appeal again is industries to work hand in hand with the various institutions, being in the second cycle or the tertiary level to collaborate in developing our students. That is, opening our workshops and our industries and our workplaces to our young ones for internship. And for the internship, I mean internship, quality apprenticeship, so that by the time they leave your firm, one, you benefit from them by getting free labor to meet your deadlines, and our students would also learn. This will reduce the cost of consumables and improve the quality of training for our TVET young learners. Dr. Chair, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Nananum, my landlords, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Honorable Deputy. <laughs>
Surely, uh huh. We'll join the thrill, the regional minister. Asam Payetia, Obanyan Safusu, Obunye, Wankana. Thank you, regional minister. The Vice Chancellor Registrar, Dr. Makuku. I can see Professor Esuyama Yebua Nekon itching to take a few steps. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I now have the honor to invite the Registrar, Chief Operating Officer of the University, Mr. Samuel Ankama Obuo, to introduce the special guest of honor for this occasion. Thank you. Chairman, kindly permit me to stand on the established protocols. President, representative, Honorable Michael Ochreberfi is a member of parliament for New Yaben South constituency in the Eastern region and the Deputy Minister of Trade and Industries before his election to Parliament in 2020 elections he served as the Executive Secretary of Ghana Free Zones Board prior to that he was the head of sales and marketing at Phoenix Insurance Academically, Honorable Michael Ochiburfi holds MBA in Marketing and Corporate Strategy from the University of Ghana and a Bachelor of Education degree from the University of Cape Coast. He is a member 
of the Chartered Institute of Marketing, UK, and has over 10 years of experience in insurance marketing. Within the New Patriotic Party, he currently serves as the chairman of the Finance Committee of the National Youth Wing. He is married to lawyer Mrs. Iroesi Ochiburfi, and they are blessed with a son. Honorable Michael Ochiburfi is also a friend of the institution. Honorable, you are warmly welcome home. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Bo. I like the, the rendition they were playing. Or maybe if you can play it again. Or maybe yeah, if you, yeah. I don't know whether you can play it again for us, the DJ, if you have it. We are waiting for you. Asam Paetia. Obayan Safusu Munia Wankan Asam. They mafu to Sam Kakrewa Supreme. And so it's this time it's an all it's an all hands on deck project that we we are about undertaking, and we have to work together to build our economy, and get it back on track together. That should be our preoccupation now as we work as noble citizens of this country. The chairman of the governing council of this noble university, my mother, the deputy minister for education in charge of TVET, my honorable regional minister, the honorable deputy minister for justice and attorney general, other ministers of state, MPs present, the vice chancellor of this noble university, municipal and district chief executives, other vice chancellors of other sister universities, Nananom past and present students of this university, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The president would have wished to be here to be part of this wonderful event, but due to other equally important assignments, he has been taken out of the jurisdiction, and so he has asked me to represent him here and also to share his views and his interest with you this morning. And then so I represent the president here and he extends his felicitations and warm regards to all of you. And say, are you co to this university and congratulate you on your 55th anniversary celebration. I'm happy to join you here today on behalf of the president, His Excellency Nana Rodankwe Kufuado, to celebrate the 55th anniversary of this great institution, the Sunyani Technical University, let me first congratulate management 
and staff, as well as past and present students for their various contributions in keeping this institution on its feet. Since the establishment in 1967, as a technical institute by the first president of the Republic, Osagi Food, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, till its present status as technical university. From its humble beginnings as Sunyani Technical Institute to its days as a polytechnic, Sunyani Technical University has contributed to the socioeconomic growth of our country, especially in the training of the required manpower in engineering and technical and vocational education in this country. The anniversary team is STU 55 years of progress and achievement in TVET and engineering education, mobilizing excellence for leadership in Ghana's industrialization agenda. This team fits government objective of transforming TVET through policy formulation, strategic investment, and greater recognition. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, since the MPP took office, numerous initiatives have enhanced the performance of technical universities in Ghana especially STU, in training skilled technical and professional workforce for government in the agenda. Since 2017, the MPP government has created a strong foundation for TVET due to its importance in our country's socio-economic development. This foundation includes the passage of the Education Regulatory Bodies Act 2020, Act 1023, to regulate promote and administer a robust TVET sector for transformation, innovation, and sustainable development in Ghana. Also, Mr. Chairman, the rehabilitation and upgrading of laboratories and workshops in Teka universities and Teka institutes in Ghana undertaken by the government is one key project that was planned to uplift skills training in Ghana. This project, which costs some 119 million US dollars was a collaboration between the Ghanaian government and our Chinese partners to the AVIC International Holding Corporation of China and was aimed at improving the equipment base of these institutions. In the Buno region alone, two institutions benefited from the AVIC project, including the Sunyani Technical University and the Methodist Technical and Vocational Training Institute at Bakuniaba near Sunyane. Indeed, the, the Sunyane Teka University AVIC laboratory, which is a full package, stands out as one of the best equipped engineering and TVET facilities in the sub-region for skills training. It is our hope that the management staff and students of the university will put it to good use to realize the MPP government dream of skill acquisition for the youth of Ghana for accelerated economic development. Dr. Chairman, Nananom, distinguished invited guest, I'm happy to announce to you that the government has also through Planet One of the United Arab Emirates, UAE, expended and estimated 392 million euros in infrastructure development in National Vocational Training Institute, MVTIs, all to boost TVET sector of the country. The government is also on course to upgrade the existing centers to provide young people with employable skills that will enhance their livelihood and support wealth creation through our flagship programs such as the One District, One Factory initiative. These centers will ultimately enhance skills development to prepare the, Ghana work, the Ghanaian workforce to be competitive globally. The chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, government has in the last six years been pursuing reforms in our educational systems to equip our learners with the 21st century skills required to fully participate in the fourth industrial revolution. At the heart of these reforms has been the emphasis of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM in recognition of the fact that only about 40% of our tertiary students are currently enrolled in science STEM related programs. The government is currently building the five STEM based universities in five of the newly created regions in the country. 
these tertiary institutions, when operationalized, will significantly help achieve the government's vision of a 60-40 science-humanities ratio. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in a short term, the government has introduced a pre-engineering program for secondary school graduates with non-science backgrounds to pursue programs in engineering at the tertiary level. The pre-engineering program is a one-year detailed course designed to prepare and train senior high school graduates with non-science backgrounds for enrollment in a Bachelor of Science in Engineering at the country's university, including technical universities. It is exciting to know that the pre-engineering program is a game changer as it will open doors to many non-science secondary school graduates, especially visual art graduates who desire and possesses the ability and creative mind to be trained as engineers. This program is currently being piloted by the University of Mines and Technology and the Pentecost University, and the government hopes to expand it after a successful pilot. In addition to the establishment of five new universities, the government is also establishing an open university in Ghana, which is expected to increase access to tertiary education for qualified individuals who are not able to enroll at the traditional brick and mortar universities. Council Chairman Nanom, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I must emphasize that the government is on course to enhance the education sector of this, of this country, especially the TVET sector, for the needed accelerated economic growth that will alleviate the economic sufferings of our people. I urge you to continue to provide excellent leadership in Ghana's industrialization agenda, especially in your niche area of electrical and electronics engineering. The chairman, His Excellency the President, Nana Ekufuado, is very much aware of the STU Endowment Fund, which is geared towards the implementation of the 40-year development plan of this university. In the light of this, His Excellency Nana Danko Ekufuado personally donate 50,000 cities to the fund. In addition, the government will also take steps to address some of the major concerns of the institution outlined by the vice chancellor and the council chairman. Before I take my seat, I want to reiterate the fact that this university is a pure technical university specialized in the area of electronics and electrical engineering, another form of engineering. The good news is that the Ministry of Trade and Industry, of which I work, of which I, where I work, is poised and positioned to help partner Tekka universities to champion the course of the 1D1F agenda. You know that the government is strategically implementing a policy called the a national industrial transformation agenda. And one of the key policies under this form of general policy is the automobile development and the 1D1F initiative. And it will interest you to note that most of the technical universities have not even come up to the Ministry of Trade and Industry to form alliances in the form of uh, forming MOUs with 1D1F companies so that you help provide the manpower needs of these uh, 1D1F companies. I, I urge the STU to take the lead in this direction. I mean, there are a lot of opportunities available at uh, that sector, especially in the area of component manufacturing. You know that we have now about seven vehicle assemblers in Ghana, and there is no component manufacturer in Ghana. So we have only assemblers, but we don't have a component manufacturer. So all the companies that we use to manufacture the vehicles are imported. There's the need for us to have a component manufacturer. I mean, to be able to provide or manufacture something like a generic product like car batteries, uh, car lights, car brakes. These are very simple ones that can easily be manufactured in Ghana. When, and I want to employ and, and charge the STU uh, management to take this up and see what you can do with the Ministry of Trade and Industry. On this note, 
I want to thank you all for your attention. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister Ochre Befi, MP for Abuakwa South in Eastern Region. And Honorable Befi actually needs no introduction in Sunyane here. Uh, he is uh, actually a Sunyane man in court, if I should put it uh, that way. Ladies and gentlemen, speakers have reiterated the need for individuals and corporate organizations to contribute to the SCU Endowment Fund launched on the April 30th, 2022. Today, we have a special fundraising event at Usbet International Conference Center, 7 p.m. Corporate organizations, government agencies, politicians, businessmen, philanthropists, individuals are kindly requested to participate in the fundraising event. 7 p.m. at Usbet International Conference Center. And this afternoon, I have the honor once again to invite the man under whose strategic direction that the endowment fund was launched to come and lead a very short exercise that is the appeal for donation into the endowment fund. This is going to be very brief and short. The actual fundraising will take place at Isbert International Conference Center. And for our guests who will not be available in the evening for their big event, this is the opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, as I indicated, the fundraising, the fund, the endowment fund is the brainchild of the visionary chairman of the governing council. And he himself, when the fund was launched, this year, he personally contributed 20,000 Ghana cities and has promised to do more. The Vice Chancellor personally has contributed 12,000, registrar 10,000, Director of Finance, Pro VC, all 10,000. So, the senior management members are contributing enormously into the fund. So, the chair will lead that short appeal, after which we will introduce the dignitaries and before we close, there is a very important activity to be conducted. That is sword cutting ceremony of the Center of Excellence for Electric Vehicles and Industrial Welding. This project is being funded by Ghana Gas. The officials are here. So we have three important items. Then we draw the curtain down for the first session of the program today, then we meet later on. So may I kindly invite the council chair to lead the process. The council chair, just this afternoon when I made the announcement for donations to be sent to the revenue office, I'm getting feedback from the revenue officer, our partners, Prudential Bank, who are the operators of the account for the endowment fund have just donated a whooping 50,000 Ghana cities. They had earlier donated 20,000 at the launch, so a total of 70,000 from Prudentia. Messrs. Asib Company Limited, 50,000 Ghana cities. Mr. Nick Danso, AJ, executive chairman of our Nick group of companies in Accra, Abiyam is the name many people associate with him from Nkranza. 
he could not make it, is out of the jurisdiction, but has sent what he called a token of 10,000 and has promised to do more. Uh, Mr. Kwasi Opon, an alumnus who has contributed so much to this university, was here yesterday. He has left for Kumasi and is most likely to be back for the dinner. But before he was leaving, he left at whooping 10,000 Ghana cities. Church of Pentecost has just donated 500 Ghana. So the revenue office is open to receive donations. You can do that this afternoon if you will not be available for the fundraising event at Isbet International Conference Center. Let me also remind members here in Gadded that if you have not received an invitation to be at the fundraising event, tickets are available at the Office of the Public Relations. You can pick tickets, attend the event, and contribute to the endowment fund. Take it per head is 300 Ghana, see this couple 500 Ghana, and you are warmly welcome to contribute into the fund. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, may I humbly invite the chair of the governing council of the Sunyani Technical University, engineer, Dr. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Piero. You have essentially done the uh, launch. Uh, let me just uh, add a few things. One, there, ha uh, there have been contributions from many, many other people. We can't even go through the list. In particular, the staff of this university you know, have contributed uh, various uh, sums. And as a matter of fact, we have set a target that uh, within the university itself, we should raise at least one million Ghana uh, cities. But let me take a step for the broader picture. Yes, see. Kwancha DFA. The Disika Neto. So, Kasa Kasa Kasa. What's the Sika no? The DH. Now, me na na binsu no ka na semse. Me na na binsu no ka na semse. Wa mu anu aye din 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 e kaba ubeti mi etu ebi. Nti, or see a tress a kaba, you bet me a tribe. And that is the theme for the launch. If there are individuals here who cannot make it to this evening's event, number one, the revenue office is open. So, as uh, the PRO said, you can go to the revenue office. Or for that matter, I'll be quite happy to take your donation. Trust me that I will deliver it to the revenue office. But if there are a few people who feel very strongly and want to come up to the podium and make their donations, we'll be quite happy to receive them. So I'll pause if there is anybody who thinks that they need a message in addition to their donation. You know, but as you know, when you go to the dance and you get the floor, there's a slight charge you know, for uh, enjoying the floor. So I hope in the next few minutes, if there is anybody who wants to come up to the podium, Please do so.
somebody, I'm assuming that the money is so heavy and you can't carry it, you know, but you will deliver it somehow to the revenue office. So, as Council Chair is saying, if you want to be recognized, you can pick the microphone, make your donation, or you make your pledge. Or if you've paid and you want to be recognized at the Deba, you can do that. Those who will be available for the dinner too, we can recognize you there. Thank you. Dr. Makuku is a friend of the university and has delivered a number of workshops and conferences for the staff and students of this university. Dr. Makuku of All African University Union here to support the course. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, uh, as I've been introduced, my name is uh, Dr. Violet Makuku. But let me start by paying, like what the chair said. I'm paying to speak my 100 Ghana cities. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to say through all the protocols that have already been uh, observed, uh, the speeches which have been delivered here today are very profound. Uh, the things which have been said there are very practical. And once again, I want to challenge uh, Sunyani Technical University, as well as uh, all technical universities, that uh, what has been said can be done. And so carve your own niche. You are being given free notes. So take the notes and run with them. Um, I paid my 100 Ghana cities uh, for one thing which I've noted uh, has not been said, maybe I'll have two, but the very first one is that we want to talk about uh, TVET and technical universities that uh, we have what we call the five Asian tigers which include the Taiwan and Singapore. They managed to raise their economies through TVET. So once again, I just want to say to Sunyani Technical and others, please, let's push Trivet. That's our niche. Let's not go the traditional universities way. And then I want to talk about your contribution to the African continental free trade area. I didn't hear anything about that. But do you know there are golden opportunities there? If you now develop products and you offer services that are useful to that area, so that's why I paid my 100 Ghana cities. Less institutions contribute to the continental free trade area, export even manpower. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Dr. Thank Makuku. You. Dr. Makuku has uh, shown that it is not just mere words, but you support your words with substance. Thank you very much, Dr. Makuku. Uh, a representative of the president, a very able young man, said that if his old uncle like me can contribute 20,000, the least he can do is to start with 20,000. So this is his contribution of 20,000 Ghana CDs. So 20,000 Honorable Michael Ochre Befi, oh, that is personal donation, and 50,000 from His Excellency, it's, the oh, President sorry, oh, of the Republic. That is personal donation for this event. We know the President will do more, yeah, his personal as donation Vice Chancellor requested. 2,000, and he definitely is going to match his old uncle sooner or later. <laughs> Yeah, I know.
I can see the regional minister. She will definitely be at the dinner. But as the mother of the region, yes. she is leading by example. Honorable Awubana Hene. I will show you my. Said it here, be I saw my ma and we yesterday. I don't see. Some of one of the one, one, I say. And it's a dear kind, yeah, mammy, gifty. I'll be now, Minister, and then or some see MP or say. Yes, I see a call now. I'm Kobia, and I would be a come to also so a crown in some thousand Ghana cities. Edibua. My man, I'm sure I say, and I say, be my view. So, so, you were mentioning, mentioning, do me no, and a cabo mo, and my man tam no, a dim and I am one. The assembly is in answer so. A year, this if we are, what shall I say, or be answer so a contributing tea. Do me no, no, or cry twelve thousand Ghana cities at the support program. Nan, yes, I will ma. A year, you know, so bad time. So, so I'm here, yeah, better now, will be so I. I don't see a bad penny. I'm ready. I miss me from in some hundred to fifty million. Hundred to fifty million. Five thousand Ghana cities. Regional Minister, you will say only mathematics teacher be born for more. I'm saying, I'm going to be who I train now. <laughs> Council Chair, please allow me to make this one. Our partners, Casa Preco, they've been so supportive of this university in terms of donations for congregations or events. They support the university. Today, they have donated. 50 packs of water. So the awake water you see around all were donated by Casa Pre Company Limited. On top of that, they are having this they call an initial donation of 20,000 Ghana cities. That more will be coming. So, Thank you so from much. Casa Pre Company, I asked the manager to come over. He says he's not interested in the cameras. But they want to support 20,000 from Casa Preco Company Limited on top of assorted drinks they have provided to support the anniversary. Thank you. What is saying, sir, on this occasion on Casa Preco? Thank you. Now Casa Preco. Thank you. And I have here a donation of. Uh, 500 Ghana cities, Mr. Benjamin Entry. Thank you so much, you know, Mr. Benjamin Entry. I believe it's an alum. So all those contributing here, we are taking notes right after the Deba. Kindly go to the council chamber and you have the receipt. Revenue people are preparing receipt. So once the announcement is made, receipt will be written for you. Alternatively, you can go in there, make payment, and bring the receipt for an announcement to be made. So, if you don't be available for the fundraising event, which is open for all, invitations have already been extended to Captains of industries, council members, invited guests, and a good number of people. All these directors, HODs, heads of sessions, you are required to represent your units or your department at the event. Any other one who would want to come and support, you are warmly welcome. Thank you. I, I know some people are usually shy. They don't want to walk up to this place. So we'll make it easy. You know, as for money, it can walk to wherever you want. 
So we will ask uh, the ashes to go around, and whatever donation you have, you know, it's, this is an offertory. This is an offertory period where the, you know, envelopes are going around. So whatever contribution you want to make, you are encouraged, you know, to make. I think uh, we can have one person there, one person there, and then, uh, you know, make it easy for uh, people. But please, yeah, we need some music. When you are collecting money, you need some background music, you know, to, I mean, you know, during the offertory, we always play music. So we have to have our own version. This beautiful lady is here to charm me. So. Council Chair, I also have another check to announce on behalf of Modwork Enterprise, donating a whooping 5,000 Ghana cities. Modwork Enterprise. I think they are suppliers of the university and they're donating 5,000 Ghana cities. I have the representative of uh, Bichim Hima, and uh, I will, you know, I'll let her do the honors. I think you've heard my voice enough. Let's have a view, different voices, particularly the ladies. I always like to hear ladies' voices. So please. And I'm the chim him. He is she's and I drop for Jamana Sewa. She is old student. She is contributing thousand cities. Thousand cities. Please. Thank you so much. You are go follow and I hope you don't say you be doro. Ah, you did like doro Gucci. Nana Bitchin Hima, this is not the first at the launch. She contributed and has done it again. Nana is a proud alumnus of the university. She is a past student of this university. She donated at the launch, and today she has donated at the Deba. Nana and her entourage in her full regalia will be at the dinner. Nana, we thank you so much. And I will never forget the encounter we had in Accra, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, I tried to work hard. Now, in addition to contribution to my year as a lecturer, no, I signed my uh, endowment fund, you know, 1,000 Ghana cities. What time? What time? I signed the beer can home. As and when, so that Andrew say, "Yeah, we, you know, number contribute to amount to a one month you need to make money, Mr. Mosi." Thank you, my brother and senior. Now, as we continue to take donations, you know, Council Chairman has done something so special. I called for the umbrella, and he said no, even at his age. He is leading. He doesn't need to be covered. The cameramen are even covered by cancel chases. So, please get the music flowing as the ball goes round. At the same time, the young, dynamic, pro vice chancellor should be preparing to introduce the dignities around. So, she was a devil. That's okay. If you want to take some rest, or if you want to go on, wise Pro Vice Chancellor prepares to introduce the dignitaries here in Garden. Please, please get up, take out your white handkerchiefs, swing, and donate.
I can see Nananam on their feet. Uh, Nananam, beautiful queen mothers being led by the chief linguist of the traditional council. Here to deliver a message. The university is forever grateful to the Nanum, the custodians of the very land the university is situated on. Hello. Uh, good afternoon to you all. Please, if I may, please, Nananam are here to speak if you can. Traditional Council. Yan aye as I say a ra Yan ye de as I see y na a mas hu ye and tis a see ya nana o my hema nana aso sika bre ye e di ye nim e ba ye se see ya e jana hey ye ma two thousand Ghana cities na ye san so shabba se and you may be able to use it. Now, we will 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 be able to use it. We will be able to use it. Thank you very much. So, ProVC is getting ready to do the introduction. But um, Mr. Ransford Entry, a friend of the university who has been supporting the university in diverse ways. For this anniversary, he has given us countless of airtime free of charge. For this program is being broadcast live on Sun City at a token. He has indicated his intention to announce further contribution to the endowment fund. So, Mr. Ron, for the entry, if you are ready, kindly do that so that we do the acknowledgement and bring proceedings to an end. Don't forget, by the kind courtesy of Ghana Gas, the university is going to cut a sword for a multi-purpose electric vehicle facility that will also cater for industrial welding. That will be done immediately after the introductions. Then we bring proceedings to an end for the morning. Thank you very much, Mr. Ransford Entry. If you are ready, kindly do your donation so that we bring proceedings to an end for this session. Mr. Ransodenki says, on top of free airtime he has given, number of times he has provided accommodation for the guests of the university, Adadaba is now doling out a whooping 2,000 Ghana cities to support the course. 2,000 Ghana cities on top of several other support he's been providing. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, everybody. And then this will be continued uh, at the uh, dinner this evening. And oh, some more. 
So, the mod works 5,000 and Mr. Ramford, MP, Managing Director of Science City Group of Companies. That includes Science City Radio, Science City Imperial Lodge, and many others. 2,000 cash. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing so much love to our institution. And I promise you that uh, in a few years' time, this place is going to look different. Thank you, Council Chair. And where is it, our dynamic young uh, Pro Vice Chancellor? And Thank you very much. Now, now Pro VC. Now the Pro VC is here to lower the average age at the podium. Sometimes you can mistake him for one of us. And even at worst, consider him to be one of the students. <laughs> but he's a professor, handsome, young, dynamic, Pro Vice Chancellor, Justice Solomon Crunchy Barima will acknowledge the dignities here. So our friends from the uh, barracks, if you kindly tone down a little bit for Pro Vice Chancellor to do the acknowledgement. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. MC. Thank you, the military band. Mr. Chair, May I respectfully be permitted to stand on the established protocols to acknowledge the presence of some dignities in our midst. Such as these are important personalities who, for the love of the university and the country, have made it from far and near to be here this day to grace the occasion of the 55th anniversary of Sinjani Technical University. And I must say that the introduction is not going to be done in any particular order. That notwithstanding, it will be good for us to start with the custodians of the land. And we are talking about the Sunyane Traditional Council, which is ably represented. And the entourage is led by Nana Dria Aso Sikabra Yeh the second, or Mahima of Sunyane Traditional Council. Nana, you are welcome. We also have Nana Osechri Kye, Driakon Don Penghene of Sunyane Traditional Council. We have in our midst Nana Jan Tuahima of Sunyane. Nana Sunyahim Nifahima of Sunyane Traditional Council is also here. We have the Chidonhima of Sunyane Traditional Council also present. We also have Nana Benun Kwantahima also present. We have Mama Hima of Sunyane Traditional Council also in our midst. We have Nana Chiyame Yabua here. We also acknowledge the presence of Nana Chiyame Yadoma. We have Agozohima of Sinyane also present. And then we also have Nana Kusi Diatio of Sinyane Adoma also present. Chair, we also have entourage from Bechem Traditional Council and is led by Nana Ajuapo Jamena Sewa the second the paramount grandmother of uh, Bechem Traditional Council, who is also a past student of Sunyane Technical Institute. For the records, Nana entered in 1987 and graduated in 1991, where she did business studies. We also have Nana Yakisiwa Doma Mabainhima, also representing Doma and Kobiahima present. Nana, you are most welcome. We are most grateful. We also have in our midst Honorable Nsukumi, the MCE for Sunyane Municipal Assembly. Honorable, you are welcome. We have Professor Kwesin Sienjaba. Prof was introduced initially, and he is the first rector of Sunyane Polytechnic. Currently, he is the chair of the Governing Council of University of Energy and Natural Resources and the director of RASCOM. Prof, you are most welcome. We also have Honorable Afretria Yabua, Deputy Attorney General in our midst. 
we have Dr. Violet Makuku. Dr. Makuku is the Quality Assurance Specialist with African Association of African Universities. Doc, you're welcome. We also have here, representing our sister university, UNE, Professor Elvis Sarabedi Akon, the Vice Chancellor of UNE, Prof, you're welcome. We have lawyer Solomon Pamford. Lawyer Pamford is the Registrar of UNE. Lawyer, you're welcome. We also have Ant Mr. Anthony Nyameba, CEO African Trade Initiative for the Future. We have Madam Mary Abena Ejapon, Registrar, University of Energy, Environment and Sustainable Development, so many. Madam Ejapon also happens to be a former vice rector and a lecturer of Sunyane Polytechnic then. We have Honorable Kusi Buadum, MCE for Sunyane West. Honorable, you are welcome. We also have Dr. Prince Menzo, Director of Finance of STU. We have Professor C.K. Kankam of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, also here. Prof, you're welcome. We have Mr. George Abisa Blankson, Council Member, Sunyane Technical University. We also have Mr. Paul Eddie Korte, a Council Member, Sunyane Technical University. We have Mr. Thomas Bello, who is also a Council Member representing AGI. We have Professor F.K. Safo, a Council Member. Prof. Safo is also the Vice Chancellor of Akentana Piamenkan University, formerly uh, Winneba Kumase Campus, also here. We have Dr. Samuel Ochebwaten, a council member present. We have the SRC president, who is also a council member, Mr. Oka Moses in our midst. We have Mr. David Adujamfi Jr., Ghana Education Service, Sunyani Municipal Education Directory. We also have Mr. Gordon Osei Mafo, council member, and then the headmaster of Sunyane Secondary School here say you are welcome. We have Dr. Kwame Odro Amwakon, a council member. Reverend Brother Patrick Soku, a council member. We have Dr. Osei Kankam from Kwame Konfuanochi Teaching Hospital also here. We have Dr. Tina Abrifajan, a council member. We have Professor S.C. Yabua, a council member. And then we also have Dr. Kwabena Ivan Stachi, representing GTEC. And then we also have a gentleman here who has impacted a lot of lives over here, including myself, and he has been introduced already for the love of the nation, the love of the region, and then the community. And we are talking about my own brother, Mr. Ramford MP, Chief Executive Officer of Sun City Group of Companies. Bro, we are most grateful, and we will continue to be grateful to you. We have Engineer Kofi Esariabua, a board chair, associated consultant also here, say you are welcome. And then we have a finance professor, Lydia O. Boache, who is also a retired accountant. We have Mr. Buama, uh, yeah, Buama Girard, sorry for the pronunciation of the other name, please. As an entrepreneur, we have Mr. Charles Ofori Mensa, a retired economist and also an entrepreneur. We have Dr. Emmanuel Siodu, consultant, 1D1F Secretariat, and that's from the Ministry of Trade and Industry, who is also a former student of Sunyane Technical University. We also have Sister Patience Kumi of Peku's Ventures, and then she came together with her husband, Mr. Kenneth Aqua, who is also the Chief Executive Officer of Rashku's Ventures. Please, you are welcome. We have Mr. Julius Kwaiye Mensa, the branch manager of Zenit Bank Sunyane, also here, you are welcome. We have Mr. Alex Ofori, Police Regional Coordinating Council here. We have Dr. Florence Plocky, University Liberian, Accra Technical University, also representing. Then we also have Mr. Ayikusi, Sunyane West Municipal Assembly in attendance. We have Mr. Humphrey Tete, Agreed Limited, also here, you are welcome, sir. And then we have James Clark Hayford, Institutional Advancement Officer of UNE. And he came together with Lanet Yabua Boatin, also from Institutional Advancement Office. We have a team from Casa Preco Company Limited. We just acknowledged them a while ago and being led by Mr. Isaac Ajay. Sorry. And then we have Mr. Solomon Opoku Owusu Bona, also from Casa uh, Preco Company Limited. We are most grateful. We have Mr. Alexis Antoni from Ghana National Service, also in our midst. 
we have Pastor Michael Osei Apo, Church of Pentecost in any area representing. And then we also have Mr. Stephen Donko, a senior manager in charge of corporate social responsibility of Ghana Gas Limited. Then we have all the alumni members over here. Just as the chairman said, whatever we are doing here, we are doing it for you because you have your foundation over here. We are here as servants of the university, and when our time comes, we will be leaving. But we are doing everything for you, and therefore we acknowledge your presence. We are most grateful to you. So, Chair, these are the people that I have in due course. We'll be acknowledging the rest. So, on behalf of the management of the university and the planning committee of this 55th anniversary, we would like to welcome you and acknowledge your presence over here. The university will forever be grateful to you. Thank you so much. And thank you very much. We also acknowledge the presence of many media houses here. We've been working closely with you for a very long time. May I also acknowledge an alumnus of the university who continues to make us proud. Who continue to make us proud? Mr. Sadiq Adam Obama, GJ Sports Journalist of the Year 2018, and Karen Swag, Sports Journalist of the Year. He's contributed so much to this event. If you saw Vice Chancellor and Registrar at NGU Television, it is by kind courtesy, Sadiq Adam Sports Obama. Ladies and gentlemen, before we do the closing prayer and the general assassin, there is an important event, brief but very important event. Sword cutting ceremony for Center of Excellence for Electric Vehicle and Industrial Welding. May I, at this juncture, call upon the custodians of the land, Nananum, led by the Paramount Queen Mother of Sunyane Traditional Council, also here, Nana Dumping Hene, representing the Omai Hene himself and all the chiefs of the traditional council. We cannot do the sword cutting without the involvement of Nananum. They have provided the land on which the university is currently situated. And Nananum are poised to provide more for future expansion. So, Nananum, please get ready as the dignitaries on the days also get ready for that short ceremony. I've already indicated this project, the initial funding is coming from Ghana Gas and details will be revealed as the short curtain ceremony takes place. So, Nananum, the Paramount Queen Mother, Nana Okosuya Duya Aso Sika Breye the second. And Nana Nom De and Kamode and Sasi Nina Ba Makum Kumya Fia Bom Paye Vie and Kawunya Samobe Yisika so Nana Nom as I disika chuchri de a better you may dear nechi. Eighteen pain four I will call on you. His Excellency's representative, Nananom, and the dignitaries at the high table to perform the sword cutting ceremony. Thank you. So, there we go. The indefatigable director of works, my very boss, Dr. Alexander Edofo, and his team, Sabin Ketia, Nana Mankwetia Safredu, Yabuat Induya, and all the staff of Directorate of Works have done a wonderful job to see this design. So, Vice Chancellor will give a brief background 
on the project. Nananom, kindly come and take your positions for the sword cutting ceremony. Center of Excellence. Yebe ye electric cars. Cars are yem for petroleum. Ewo university ha. Vice Chancellor, brief background, please. Thank you very much. Um, this project started with the idea from the electrical and electronic engineering department. Uh, actually, that is the niche area of the university, electrical and electronics engineering. So they put up a proposal, um, and that proposal was sent to Ghana Gas, uh, an amount of 5 million Ghana cities. Proposal was sent. And initially, Ghana Gas has given approval of 2 million Ghana cities to start the phase one. So we expect that um, with time, Ghana Gas will do us a favor to top up so that we can complete the phase one completely, which will house the electric vehicle and industrial welding center. Uh, it is going to be an industry uh, right now, the focus of Sunyane Technical University is not just on teaching. Uh, the Education 3.0, which used to be teaching, research, and community service. Now, we are going beyond that. We are going for Education 5.0. So, we are adding innovation and industrialization. So, on this very campus, when students come here, we will teach them how to be innovative and how to do industrialization. So the industries are going to be put up here right on the campus. And the first industry is the car manufacturing, the electric vehicle uh, industry that we are going to build with this donation from Ghana Gas. So through this, we expect other uh, corporate organizations to come to our assistance so that we can put up other processing factories right here on campus for student training. Because when you train them practically to know what is industrialization right on the campus, when they go out, they will be able to easily set up their companies. So that is the background of this project. Thank you very much. Okay, honorable. So, we are Mama, Alaman Queen Mada, Together with the we president the representative, the father, vice chancellor, council chair, Nananum, who unveil the project design. This is the 3D impression of the project. When it is completed, this is how it will look like. That is center of excellence. So Ghana Gas has already provided 2 million Ghana cities down payment. That is 20 billion to add this project. Mr. Steven Donko from Ghana Gas is here. They have provided 2 million Ghana cities, 20 billion, the old currency to commence the phase one of this project. The university is most grateful to you, Ghana Gas. So, Mr. Donko, Ghana Gas would want to say a word. So kindly, Pay attention to Mr. Donko. Thank you. Thank you very much, MC. As you rightly indicated, I think we've listened to so many speeches concerning the practical aspect of our education. And I think this is the first step that all of us has taken. On behalf of my CEO and the board of Ghana Gas, uh, we're here to commit ourselves to the project and that is why we have given the seed money of two million Ghana cities. What has happened here this morning, I'm going to brief my management 
and further impress upon them to further uh, make our support available. If possible, take the whole budget of the five million to make sure that this project comes to fruition. Again, as it was indicated earlier on, we see this project as a partnership between Ghana Gas and this very institution. And for that matter, we are going to monitor, evaluate, and see to the final execution of this project. Thank you very much, Nana. Thank you very much, Mr. Donko from Ghana Gas. So, no, no, no. May probably want to say a word. Nana are most grateful. They want to see development in their jurisdiction and this. So, Nana please. There is a group picture. Nana Paramount Queen Mother and members of a traditional lawyer, Council Chair, Honorable Buffy, Vice Chancellor, the Degrees. Please kindly come for a photograph session with a 3D impression on the background. A quick one. Degrees, let's have that. And we cannot talk about the success of this institution without acknowledging the immense contribution of the lad who employed me here far back in 19, 2003, Professor Kwasi Insia Jaba, who is now the chairman of the governing council of University of Energy and Natural Resources. Professor Kwasi Insia Jaba has mentored many here in this institution. Nana Bechem Hema. Nana Nom and the key stakeholders. Let me also kindly acknowledge Reverend Benjamin Apia, of Bono Presbytery, here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Please remember the big event is the fundraising event at the Yusbert International Conference Center. The red carpet event starts at 6 p.m. The actual event will kick off at 7 p.m. Kindly take note. Tickets are available to all who would want to contribute to the endowment fund of the university. Shall we now take the closing prayer? After the closing prayer, we shall all remain upstanding for the Yenara Assassini to disperse us. So Reverend Gideon Hackman, please hold yourself in readiness for the closing prayer. I earlier talked about my boss, Mr. Ransford Kofi Entry. The program is live on Science City as we speak. It's contributed so much and has so much stake in the university. Because the other half is an alumnus of this university, a student, front desk operator, who has now risen to the rank 
of the faculty officer, senior assistant registrar. So, proceed to the university restaurant for lunch. Mr. Michael, after the closing prayer, all invited guests, please proceed to the university restaurant for your lunch. All members of staff, we have buffet stand right in between accountancy block and block E on my right hand side. It is save yourself, eat as you please for all members of staff. Con members of convocation, I should say, members of convocation, other members of staff, your units have taken care of your lunch. So, convocation for buffet lunch in between accountancy block and block E, where we have the canopies. Invited guests proceed to the university restaurant. And our future students, that is students from senior high schools and technical institutes, please remain under the canopies and you will be saved. So the ushers, please, after the closing prayer, kindly usher Nananom to their place of lunch. Ushers, kindly provide that. Reverend Hakman Gideon, kindly give us the closing prayer. After the prayer, let us all remain upstanding for the Yenara Assassini. Thank you. Again, tomorrow, 8 a.m., at the Kwasin Sian Jaban Auditorium, formerly Noah's Ark, our senior brothers and sisters who left years ago. The former Noah's Ark is now Kwasin Sian Jaban Auditorium. That is where we will hold the Thanksgiving service. It is only two hours service. We're spending only two hours. We know most of you will be traveling back to your destinations for work on Monday. Eight to ten, we are done, and we can all depart and continue at our workplaces. So kindly note that. 8 a.m. Thanksgiving service at Kwasin Sian Jabon Auditorium tomorrow. Thank you very much. Uh, please, respectfully, can we please be on our feet as we, we pray? Everlasting Father, once again, we are much grateful unto you. We began and we ask you to take chair, and indeed, you have steered the affairs, and we have had a successful celebration today. We thank you that everything that was done here, O oh God, was done beautifully and to your glory. Father, we are living here and want to commit ourselves unto you once again. There are other activities that we will continue. We are asking that you will guide us through these activities. The evening dinner, fundraising dinner, 
activity and tomorrow Thanksgiving service. We ask for your protection. We ask for your preservation. That you shall shield all of us and secure our lives from any calamity of the enemy. There are some who will be traveling back even today. We commit them unto you and we ask that Lord, you grant them traveling mercies. That Lord, they will reach their destination safely. And we shall give thanks and praise unto you. We, know, we do not want to hear that somebody came for this program and on his return, the untoward happened. May that not be said about us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, be with us, O God. And at the end of the day, we shall continue to give you thanks and praise. We know you have heard us because we have prayed in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Now may the Lord keep you. May the Lord preserve you. May his countenance rise upon you. And may he provide his shield all around you until we meet again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Tomorrow... Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's okay. No need for repetition. Our friends from the army, by their training, they only play the national anthem when the president is taking the salute. And they will play the general assassin, which is a ministerial salute. So now that the minister has left to catch his flight, we have to play it from the sound system. Otherwise, it is against their OPS. Thank you. So, we are done. Convocation at the buffet stand. The we have special envoy from the office of the vice chancellor, Madame Doris Antwabuadi, who is Antwabuadi, who is leading Nananum. Nananum, you can see a beautiful envoy from the office of the vice chancellor. She will be taking you to your place of refreshment. <laughs> 